Um, I'm running for re-election because I still think there's work to do in, in Lucas County. I, I've been in office four or five terms already, so um, be the fifth. Um, but I've been in public service my entire life uh, as a union representative of Jeep Corporation. Um, I started servicing people that workers needs back in 1976. So this is a natural uh, um, feel for me. I was raised by my mother to be in public service, so I give her a lot of credit. You know, and I think at this point I have a record to run on. Um, and I think that's uh, fair game either way, but I think our record is pretty good. We've survived some uh, and led through some major tragedies. Uh, the, the crash of 2008 and 9, the county commissioners uh, kept the county's budget ballot, uh, uh, balanced. Uh, we worked on home foreclosures to stop home foreclosures and keep open their house countywide. Uh, so we're, we're, we're seasoned. In 2015, we led through the water crisis and we continue to lead on economic justice and the water crisis here. We actually sued the EPA, federal EPA, and got them to enforce the Clean Water Act to protect our lakes and waters. Um, 2000, uh, and now we're in COVID, um, we have another challenge I, that we've really, I think we've stepped up to. We launched our Emergency Operations Center in March. We put together a team that has been uh, complemented by everybody from the business to the schools, to the churches, to community, on our communications. Uh, we're still struggling with COVID uh, in our community, but I think the uh, emergency operation that the commissioners led uh, back in March is, is really worked very well. We set up a donation center that's already pushed out over 300,000 items to do it to nonprofit and small business. And, and most recently, just on, on Tuesday, we put $1.5 million into the Chamber of Commerce for small business uh, uh, help. While the government, federal government still talks about it, we jumped into action, put $1.5 million into a kitty. These are grants, not loans. And in just two days, about three quarters of the money has been uh, asked for and can be out the door. So when there's crises, I know how to lead. Um, I've been battle tested to do it. At the same time, we've led on criminal justice reform. Our jail numbers are down without our crime stats going up. Uh, and we've worked on being a welcome and inclusive community through Toledo Lucas County, let alone the economic development uh, things that we've help fund Jeep Parkway, uh, DMS, Dana, all job creators out in the community and, and by the airport. We've done land air. Uh, we've invested with the private side to create thousands of jobs here. And we're just getting started on downtown again with a new hotel and a convention center. Yeah, so obviously that's your record and um, you kind of beat me to my second question. So I'll skip to my third. Mm -hmm. um, what? Okay, so the jail downtown mm -hmm. has been one of the biggest conversations in and I think in this next term is going to be when a lot of the action takes place. So mm -hmm. Where are you standing right now on the jail and what would you like to see done with it? I think we need a new jail. The, the, the two challenges have always been where to put it and how to, how to pay for it. Um, you know, the commissioners twice tried to find sites, but we listened to the community. The community voted and said, no, we want it downtown. You know, what I've learned to do over 15 years is I'm not always right. Um, nobody always is. So you listen to people uh, and take direction from the voters and, and we're doing that. Uh, we're, we're kind of waiting for a new sheriff to come in. Um, it, actually, it's the sheriff's jail, and we have to be able to work with whoever the sheriff is, is to do it. If it's going to be downtown, there's going to be a challenge, but we got to overcome it. Um, the second piece is, how do you pay for it? Um, I think both are solvable. Uh, excited about having another sheriff, uh, the next sheriff, to do, uh, to do this project with. But it's certainly not dead. Um, it, it needs to be. Um, we've managed with what we've had, but uh, we're, we're going to have to get a new jail. People said downtown, that's where we'll put it. All right. And... Um so another thing that people have been curious about is mm -hmm. we, do you know the last time we had a Republican on? Sure. The county commissioner? It was Maggie Thurber, I think from 2002 to 2005. So it's been it was a, a woman, yes. And so, you know, the question is, mm -hmm. we have a large number of Republican voters mm -hmm. here in Lucas County. How do you feel you serve them as an all democratic um, Commission. Well, I don't think we serve from a political bent when we do things. Again, I'll point to our accomplishments in some more suburban areas. Uh, uh, out by Jerome Road, uh, we've funded economic development out there, created jobs uh, in, in Monclova. We use our uh, uh, funds to fund, we funded projects from Holland to Oregon to Monclova to Waterville. We've worked on everybody's uh, water bills. So we're not just a Toledo centric uh, board. Uh, public health affects everybody. Clean water affects everybody. Everybody. It's not a Democratic or Republican clean water advocacy. It's our community's advocacy. Our economic developments, we don't create
create jobs. We just say these jobs are just for blue or red people. We create jobs for everybody to do it. So I think um, being around a long time gives you a record some people will criticize you for, but at the end of the day, I think what we've done for everybody in Lucas County stands on the merits of, of what it's been. Everybody's been included. We don't exclude people. And um, so you are facing Ron Murphy this mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things that we are asking both of you is if you had a question for the other one, whether it's policy mm -hmm. or you know, what they want to do, mm -hmm. what would it be? I guess I would ask my opponent, uh, Mr. Murphy, for his plan on economic development, uh, having a bad uh, balanced budget, and what he supports on uh, public health issues around the COVID, about how do we beat down COVID. That's the number one issue in our community right now. So I'd ask Mr. Murphy, give me your plan on public health, give me your plan on our budget, and give me your plan on economic development.